Hey everyone, this is Adam. It's Monday, so here is your minister's moment. Welcome to May 4th, 2020. It is a day of hope. Some might say it is a day of a new hope. <laughs> For you Star Wars fans out there, you know what I'm talking about. This is the day we look forward to every year where we geek out and we remember the, the movies and the TV shows and the stories, the books even, uh, of the story of Star Wars. It is a story of hope. It is a story that inspires us to hold on in the dark times and in tough times and to persevere and, and build up our endurance and our character. It reminds me a lot of Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 5, uh, which says in the New English translation, Therefore, since we have been declared righteous by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have also obtained access into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of God's glory. Not only this, but we also rejoice in sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance character, and character hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. You see, I, I like to think about the story of, of Star Wars and the, the tiny rebellion uh, fighting against the, the evil empire that seems to be everywhere and, and the, the David and Goliath type of story that that brings and how <clears throat> the little guy is, always ends up triumphing in the end and even though they do take some losses and, and, and some disappointments and things don't always go their way, it reminds me a lot of, of our lives, of, of the stories in the Bible about how things don't always go the way the people in them expect them to go. But we hold on. We share this hope that we have as Christians, and now is a better time than any uh, to share that hope. Let, as we uh, talk about reopening the state and, and you know, survey about getting back to uh, to normal, to uh, gathering together with certain protocols in place, uh, social distancing and things like that. Uh, may we do our best to spread the hope that we have in Jesus, knowing that, that this world is not our home. It, it is just a, a place that we are for right now. And the ultimate goal is bringing as many people uh, into heaven with us to be with God. We are on a rescue mission. It is a rebellion of sorts, fighting against the teachings and the ideas of this world, showing them the love and the grace of God by acting like Jesus in our everyday lives, in our words, in our deeds, loving unexpectedly in times when people are trying to distance themselves from each other. Let us do what we can to love to forgive, to show mercy, to show benevolence, to reach out to the people around us and give each other hope. Give people a new hope because the things that others have placed their hopes in nowadays aren't really standing up, but God does. God is always there. He looks out for us. Jesus died for us. It is in that hope that we place our faith and we look forward to a brighter tomorrow. Thank you guys, love you. See you next week.